other questions, Your Honor? As to this particular piece of evidence only, Mr. Brooks, you may uh, ask questions of Detective Casey. Objection, I don't consent to being called that name. And yeah, Noted. Do you have question. any questions for the witness? This, uh, when, when did this video, when was this made a, a exhibit? Because I don't have it. Objection, that's not a question for the witness, Your Honor. That, that was a question. A question. When was this as to the video form made of the question. When was this video made an exhibit? That is a question. I object to the question directed at the witness, Your Honor. It's beyond the scope of his knowledge. Sustained. Well, he said he saw it. But that's not the question asked. So you can rephrase your question if you want to. When did, when did you see this exhibit? When did you see it? With the understanding that you're asking when did he see the video, I will when allow the question to be asked. When did you see this exhibit? With that understanding, you may answer Detective Casey. Am I answering when I saw the video for the first time? Yes. Of Objection, Your Honor. Why is something always funny at that table? I, that it would be the same thing. I take that. I take that as disrespect because they were allowed to say something, and I said under my breath that was disrespect. Uh, they I would just direct did both the same parties thing. to avoid commentary. Okay. Well, can you do that, please, and, and admonish yes, them? Because I'm will. always Absolutely. the one getting admonished. Everyone. I take that as disrespect too. Sir, I'm good. Can I do my job? States directed to avoid laughing commentary. I didn't see it, so I can't further comment. I was looking at All these the cameras witness. in here. Don't nobody However, see nothing. I'm advising both parties to show Come decorum on, this is not fair. and restraint to I be wait. respectful of this jury's time and attention and to let them do their job by focusing on the testimony that's and exhibits and evidence that's presented. Go ahead, Detective Casey. You can answer the question about when you have seen this video prior to today. I saw the video uh, within a few days of Mr. Brooks being arrested. I've reviewed it since then a few times. I reviewed it yesterday and again this morning and now in court again. You said you reviewed it yesterday and this morning. If you had seen this video numerous times before yesterday and, to, and, and today, why did you feel the need to view it yesterday and today? Objection argumented. Grounds. Sustained as to the form of the question. Why did you need to uh, review it this morning? Objection argumentative. Overruled the witness may answer. Because I wanted to be 100% sure of the content and if there's any questions that were asked of it, I wanted to make sure that I would able, be able to answer them appropriately. <laughs> And why was this, to your knowledge, why was this video never brought up in your earlier testimony? Objection. That's a misstatement, Grounds. Your Honor. Um, sustained. It, it was, it was, as to it was the not form of the question as to facts, not in evidence. If you had seen it numerous times before today, why did you need to see it again to make sure if any questions were asked or however you refer to it? What, what would be the need to view? view again this morning something that you had viewed numerous times before I will see what I well, objection compound asked and answered misstatement of the facts argumentative sustained did you view the video this morning because you knew that the video would be made an exhibit this morning Objection assumes facts, not in evidence. Sustained. That's to the form of the question. This is mine, by the way. This is mine, by the way. Can you clarify again why you viewed the video this morning? Objection asked and answered. Sustained. So you're going to sustain everything? It was already answered, sir. Next question, please. And I'm asking for clarification. Next question, please. I don't, I don't got no more questions, man. All right. Thank you. This is mine, Bobby. Detective, you may step down. I'll excuse what you, the jury. What you people was trying to do is not fair. Hide things from the jury repeatedly. You don't tell them all the information Mr. Brooks, they need I'm to I'm going to take up all of your objections outside the presence of the jury. I'd ask that you honor my decision to do that and you show courtesy and decorum. Because you asked. Mr. Brooks, please. Because you asked. That's the only reason, because you asked. 
I see what you people are trying to do. It's not right. It's not fair and it's not right. You can have a seat. Well, once the jury's outside of the courtroom, I'll take up the objections previously in the evidence. All right. Um, first of all, uh, Attorney Hopper, if you can make a record as to uh, this exhibit and uh, whether it's been turned over previously. It was previously included in the initial discovery that was sent initially to the public defender's office and now we have a record uh, that that uh, those three boxes were turned over to Mr. Brooks. Objection, I don't consent to being called that name and it was not in the video footage that I have obtained. That video was not part of it. Do you think and I would sit here and be this irritated? Mr. Brooks, I need to make I a saw? record. So just please sit down. There's no need for you to stand at the moment. No, I feel like standing right now. Please sit down. I feel like standing. All right, based upon the offer of proof provided by the state, and it was provided to prior counsel, um, that's satis that satisfies me as to that issue. Um, that's I indicated that's I would- That's inaccurate, Your Honor. Can we, can we have the prior counsel testify to that then? Uh, not at I, this time, sir. I have not obtained that. Uh, right now, that was my first time seeing that as an exhibit. Mr. Brooks, I, I presume, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but you're familiar with that video. Yes or no? What, what, what does that have to do with what we're talking because about? Because I'm going to make a finding based upon what I viewed in that video that there's absolutely no surprise to you. It appears to me, even without the video, that that's a music video, that you are in it, that the vehicle that has been the subject of this entire case, that Red Ford Escape with a plate uh, that's been testified to is in that video. That video is relevant for a number of different reasons, the first of which it goes to... Uh, identification of you, identification of the vehicle. You opened up the door uh, through your cross-exam of Detective Casey about his ability to identify you in that video. Um, and, and when I say identification of you, specifically as it relates to Detective Casey's opinion that that's you in the video, of course, it's ultimately up to the jury to determine that um, and what relevance, if any, the evidence have, but you opened up the door for the state to show that video um, because you directly attacked the credibility of Detective Casey uh, through his knowledge of it and, and the identification by him of you in it uh, because the still image was of your back. Okay. So yeah. that opened up the door and it's proper. Um, there's absolutely no surprise to you that that video exists and uh, that is my finding as it what, relates what to that. What do you mean by it's no surprise to me that exists? That, that was not the issue. The issue was how was it made an exhibit at the last moment? How does it be made an exhibit out of the blue? That was the issue. The issue is to make an offer of proof on with. that because obviously they marked it as an exhibit. Well, they with all it. respect, so ahead, you're, you're mischaracterizing what I, what I said and that the record needs to be clear. The issue that I raised was how does this at the last minute, out of the blue, become an exhibit. That's, Attorney, that was the go issue. ahead and make your offer of proof on that. Thank you, Judge. And another uh, thing worth noting is the testimony of Detective Casey that this video was obtained from the defendant's own Facebook account as well. The court is Objection. well aware. He said social there's media. He nothing didn't say, that. He didn't say well, what it was. Sir, stop interrupting. We have to make a record of it. You've make interrupted multiple times. I've been abundantly patient with clear. you. Again, another interruption. So you need to be quiet and let the state make a record. Stop gesturing at me. me to be quiet? Stop rolling your eyes at me. You Stop I'm mumbling. I'm looking right at you. I'm not rolling my eyes. No, you I'm have looking. throughout. I've seen it I'm and looking. I've made note I'm of looking it. looking at you. Okay, so are you asking me to be quiet or are you telling me to be quiet? Go ahead, Attorney Opper. Thank you, Your Honor. And just to indicate, Your Honor, <clears throat> this court has been abundantly patient with Mr. Brooks. He challenges the court's authority repeatedly. This court absolutely has the ability to tell him, sit down and be quiet. And you haven't done that. And I know why you haven't done that, Your Honor. And we appreciate that. He is not in control of this courtroom. You are. And he needs to respect that. This video 
was relevant based on his questioning of Detective Casey, as you just indicated, challenging his ability to identify the person who had their back turned to the camera in the still shot of State's Exhibit 175. Trials are fluid. When he opened the door to that, we came up with the video which Detective Casey testified repeatedly on direct examination and cross-examination as to how he knew that was Mr. Brooks because he had seen the rest of the video. He would not accept that. He pushed it and pushed it and pushed it until we played the video. The lyrics of that video probably would have been prejudicial. Originally, I wasn't going to ask for volume. Then I did because he pushed it again and his voice and his mannerism of speech, I thought would have assisted the jury in identifying Mr. Brooks as the person in the video with the red SUV. However, you smartly asked me to play it without the audio and I did that and then I never went back to that. This is all to the benefit of this defendant who continues to suggest and impugn the integrity of this court and this prosecution without basis. He doesn't like it because the evidence is stacking up and stacking up. And whenever it does, his response is to accuse you, the court, or the prosecutors of being unethical and hiding things. There is nothing in law that prevents me from pulling something out of my briefcase right now and making it an exhibit if it's relevant. You decide what's relevant, what's admissible, not Mr. Brooks. There is no law he can cite to no law, no authority whatsoever that says I can't make an exhibit essentially on the fly if it's called for and that's exactly what just happened here. So I apologize for my tone with the court. I don't mean to direct this at the court. It is very frustrating. The court has demonstrated much more patience than I have with Mr. Brooks because again, I do not appreciate his impugning the integrity of these proceedings, of your honor's efforts to run a fair trial and of our efforts to run a fair trial. We have ethical obligations as well to be fair in this courtroom. We have respected that entirely. The reason I was laughing 30 seconds ago was because the exhibit was mislabeled. There was an extra Y and it said exhibit E, E-X-H-I-B-I-T-Y. And I turned around to the paralegal and pointed that out and we laughed over it, the word exhibit E. That was it. There has been no disrespect directed at Mr. Brooks directly in any fashion. So he can object all he wants and he has made that clear. He will continue to object and obstruct the court and obstruct these proceedings every last chance he gets. But legally, everything has been above board and proper and this exhibit is no exception. I apologize for my tone, Judge. Thank you. I appreciate that additional uh, record being made. I object to that. My previous ruling doesn't change in any way that the exhibit is relevant. Um, I indicated I would take it up because, uh, and I'm taking what the state's saying as uh, withdrawing the request to play the lyrics. That is correct. All right. Um, I have not heard them, but I'll certainly take the state uh, at its word as an officer of the court that um, it would be prejudicial based upon the lyrics that are in that video, but my decision to admit the video without audio stands. I do want to take up two other <coughs> issues. There was an objection uh, to questions regarding uh, cross-examination, so the objections were by the state. One had to do with possible, there was questioning about possible testimony with his niece and nephew and then the jail cell search issues. So Mr. Brooks, you asked the questions. Um, the state had objected. Since you're the proponent of what would presumably come in through the testimony of uh, Detective Casey, uh, what is your offer of proof as to why I should allow Detective Casey to come back on the stand and testify about his interaction? I believe it was with your mom and possible testimony of your niece and nephew. Um, 
it, it don't matter with Detective Casey. He he's off the stand. He's not going back on the stand. Too. No, but I told you I would recall no, I, him. I, I wanted to take wanted it up rebut, outside the presence of the jury. How do I supposed to know? So are you withdrawing that, sir? How am I supposed to know? I, I think I deserve a chance to rebut what was just said. I think I deserve that much if it's a fair trial. What information do you want to provide to me I'll, about that last exhibit? About what last exhibit? I'm talking about the, the the audacity of the prosecution to just put that on the record when it's stating un, it's untrue. I don't know what you're talking about. What's untrue? We just heard her talk for five, ten minutes straight. Now don't nobody know what I'm talking about. I don't there was know a specifically made to, what you're talking about, There was a about, reference sir. made to what I'm supposed to know about the evidence stacking up and this and that as if that has any bearing on what I still think and what I'm still going to present. It doesn't. Well, that's not what we're talking about at the moment. I, I made a ruling she, on an exhibit. She's been laughing and, and making comments under her breath the whole the time during the whole trial, and I never said nothing. I don't know what's being said, but I can tell that it's directed <laughs> towards me. I'm not, a, I'm not an idiot. I, for haven't, her to sit I there, haven't made I, any of those observations, I, I didn't sir. Say what you. I've observed, I didn't say you, Your Honor. No, no, no. But what I've observed for, for her, is for as... Her, listen, please. Go ahead. For her to sit there and try to play it off as if she's not referencing to me, she must think I'm an idiot. Nobody that is very that, disrespectful to me. I haven't said anything about that until today. She's done it numerous times. What are you talking about? I don't her know what you're laughing talking. under her breath. Her trying to cover up the microphone so they can laugh and he he and key key key. That they've been doing that the whole time. I didn't, say anything. I didn't say sir, anything about it. I have not noticed that. What I notice are three attorneys who cover up the microphone so that they're not heard when they're conferring with each other about evidentiary issues about, or about testimony. So why is it always laughing and, and, and giggling? I haven't with noticed that? that other than the one thing you pointed out. Well, today, we, have, we have cameras. That's what the cameras Brooks, are for. Let's refocus our attention on what we're here for, and that's okay, this trial. Okay, I, I take and that do as... do you have anything I you want to put on as, the record... I'm putting it on the record as if it I get a chance. No, you need to let me finish. As it relates to the video and my decision to admit She it. just admitted that she just now came with the exhibit. It was not... A, she just said... She just made it an exhibit. It that was not an it exhibit before she made it one. So do you have some legal basis, sir, for your position? What do I need anything. legal basis for when she just admitted on the record that she just made this exhibit up no, right she now? Didn't. That is a complete mischaracterization. Sure, she did not. That's what. So she wasn't implying that by saying that she did, she did pull not anything make it out of her suitcase. So that's a figure of During, speech. Okay, so what right? is it implying to? What would that be implying to? As attorney, would anyone, right, would I'm anyone moving in my on position, because you're not providing would, me with any legal any, basis. I didn't even finish. You, to, you told me that I can make the record. I'm intending sir, to make the well, record, sir. As it relates to the video and my decision to admit it, do you I have just any said that you didn't even let, let me finish. finish. You're not letting me finish. You didn't let me finish either, Your Honor. Because you're not providing providing me. But how do, you, rant, how do you know I wouldn't get to that commentary. if I didn't finish? You're not providing me with anything from a legal basis for which I would consider changing my mind. So the state's withdrawn their request to play the audio. Then why play the video at all then? I've already made a ruling on that. You're questioning the ruling. You're not asking me to reconsider it based on any legal there basis. There should be a legal, a legal reconsideration of it. Then you need to provide me with the legal basis for that, sir. So I'm supposed to just come off that with the top, off the top of my head? Yes. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> You're representing yourself. It's not ridiculous. Sir. It is ridiculous. So I was supposed to. I was supposed to already come in here this morning and say, "Oh, a video is going to be shown off the fly at the at the drop of a hat." Let me try to find some legal thing to combat. Mr. How am Brooks, I supposed to do you that? Open the bottom line is you open the door to it the playing it of that video. We're not talking about. And the video was doors. previously provided to you during discovery. We're not talking There's about opening doors. We're talking no, about being fair. There's absolutely if no I prejudice that, to you. Your Honor, in with terms all due of respect, surprise with all due respect, incident. if I had right. done that, I am going to move on. If from I had this done topic. that, it Mr. would have been Brooks, a big thing. I'm advising you. Are you asking you me? I'm advising you, sir. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'm I'll advising you to sit down and be quiet. And if you interrupt me again, you are on notice that you will forfeit your right to be present so in you're this trial. Me in Mr. Brooks, for the entire trial. 
Did you say the entire trial? I never said any such thing. You said thing. for the trial. Please? So what do you mean? I'm asking what do you Mr. mean? Mr. Brooks, you continue to that come not, at me. I don't consent to being caught You continue day. to fight with me. I'm you not are fighting being with disrespectful. You. I'm not fighting with you. I'm not. I'm going to give you, you one last opportunity to, to sit down and be quiet so I can make a, a finding as it relates to other things. Are you asking me to do things. that? Are you asking me I don't need to ask. I'm telling you. Thank you. There were two other issues that came up that I advised the parties I would take up outside the presence of the jury uh, and give, if appropriate, Mr. Brooks the opportunity to ask further questions of Detective Casey. There was questioning by Mr. Brooks uh, about possible testimony and why it, it had to do with the air. It was in the context of him questioning Detective Casey about uh, speaking with Don Woods, his mother, and about a time in August, uh, and there was some reference to his niece and nephew. Um, and I sustained the objection. Um, I wanted to take it up outside the presence of the jury. That's the first issue. The second issue was the questioning of Detective Casey by Mr. Brooks related to the jail search. Do you want the opportunity to question Detective Casey about either one of these two topics is my first question. Okay, why why was it why was it an issue we'd be bringing it? Mr. Brooks, I'm only going to ask you one more time, and if you don't saying, answer, if I don't understand, then I if I don't honor. understand what was the problem in the get go with the question, how am I supposed to answer it now? Mr. Brooks, listen to me, please. I'm going to ask this question one more time. Man, it calls for a like, yes or no. I don't no. like your tone and the way you're talking it, to me. I don't. Mr. I don't Brooks, appreciate it. Sit down. I don't care if no, you don't like I'm, my I'm tone. Gonna, You've been pushing my buttons all day throughout this entire okay, trial, and I have showed too? the utmost of respect no, for you, you and I don't Absolutely appreciate not. you impugning the integrity of this court. If that's what I you don't. want to call it, that's fine, but it's stop not accurate. Stop talking. What you mean, stop talking? I need to make a ruling. Okay, well, I'm let's, purposely let's not talk, putting you in the to, other courtroom right now. Let's talk to now. each other like adults then. Because I've never told you to stop talking. I'm going to ask this question one more time, and if he doesn't answer it, I'll take it as a no. Do you want the opportunity to question Detective Casey regarding either his questioning or meeting up with your mom and your niece and nephew about possible testimony or the jail, the search of your jail cell? Yes or no? What was the problem with me asking the question right, about the jail? He's not answering cell. my question. We'll move on. I'm, I'm trying to understand. Out. If I don't right, understand, how do I know? How do I know what I'm supposed to answer if I don't understand? And I don't agree to a stop.